Hey, it's me, Quinn, uh, StrayPhoto.com. I put up a review a few days ago of the Nomadic Travel Bag. So this bag right here it was on Kickstarter last summer, and I got so many views and so many questions on this bag that I thought I'd do a little bit more in-depth review and a little bit better look at some of the uh, compartments and features on it and actually fill it up with some stuff and see how well it fits and uh, how well it carries on the back. So stick around and we'll take a look at it. Okay, so here's the uh, Nomadic Travel Bag here in the middle. I've got it lined up with uh, two of my other bags that I really enjoy using that are kind of in the similar category, carry-on backpack style bags. This is the Topo Designs, the Nomadic in the middle, and then the uh, Patagonia Maximum Legal Carry-On. All of these have um, shoulder straps as well. Just wanted to be able to see kind of the size similarities between the three. Um, of the three, the Patagonia, the shoulder straps actually can tuck into the back flap. On the Topo Designs one, the shoulder straps are always there. And then on the Nomadic one, of course, you can kind of, if you pull on these straps, it tightens up the shoulder straps so they lie flat against the top of the bag. And you can carry it like a duffel bag like that. And then if you use the shoulder straps, they're deployable like that. Um, this is right now full of clothes, and this is a bit different from the other two bags that you access from what I would call the rear of the bag. Both of these, the Topo Designs and the Patagonia, are accessible from the rear, and the Nomadic is actually accessible from the back panel, is kind of the main compartment of the bag. Got a spot for a tablet here, and then a laptop here. On this end, it has a spot for some shoes, and I was actually able to fit um, a pair of flip-flops and a pair of sneakers in there, both. When you do put the shoes in there, though, it does take up room from the interior of the bag. The shoe compartment itself probably comes up to about here inside the bag. And you can see that here is where the shoes actually are. So they do take up, they do push into the interior of the bag. It's got the other, the side pocket. I talked about that a little bit in my other video. And then the shoulder straps as far as wearing the bag goes. Has the sternum strap. And it's a pretty comfortable bag. I don't have a whole lot in it right now, but uh, you know, a modest amount of stuff, something that would you know get me through a weekend for sure. And uh, it's comfortable, it rides well. Um, I think these straps have quite a bit of room for adjustment. And then of course, if you take it off, one of the selling points was that it can then be used as a duffel bag if you let these out all the way. And then this even has a handle to the handle right there. So again that's the uh, Nomadic travel bag that was on Kickstarter last year. Um, it's a rubberized Cordura on three panels and then regular Cordura nylon on the front panel. And again, it's right in line size-wise with the uh, other carry-on bags that I have. So, anyway, hope that gives a little bit better look and answers some of the questions I had on the uh, Nomadic travel bag. Thanks.